Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, we are up bright and early because we are going to the immigration office. So, basically, um, in Thailand, there are many, many different ways to get a visa and they all, like, have different lengths and different prices and all of the things. Uh, but the most common way is to get a visa on arrival, which basically means that they give you 30 days to stay in the country for tourism purposes. And then you have the opportunity to actually extend it for another 30 days. That's what we are doing today. So essentially, when you arrive, they give you a stamp in your passport and it has a little date on it says when is the 30 days over and ours is coming soon so we need to extend it um, our plan is to go there early because one thing about thailand is that the all of the immigration thing is just like there are a lot of people at, all the time and the organization is not exactly the best. So it takes time to get it done. You are ever in this situation. I recommend going there early in the morning, just basically stay in line like a little fangirl and make sure that you get a good spot close in the line because it makes your life so so much easier otherwise you will spend a whole day there and you don't even know if you will get the extension the day of uh, another thing also is that they close for an hour during the day because all of the staff they will go for lunch the documents that you need for the visa are uh, well, the paper, all of the paper documents are given to you actually there and you need an extra TM30. So basically it's a paper given you, given to you from your, wherever you're staying and you need this printed out as well. We have all of the documents. Actually, last time we were there, we took copies of the other papers as well, so that when we stay in line, we can already fill them in, uh, so that it would just be uh, a bit faster, this whole process. And yeah, that's what, that's what we're doing. You also need to pay. So when you get a visa on arrival, you pay nothing. They just, like, you just go through passport control in the, in the airport, and that's about it. But when you want to extend it, you pay 1,900 baht, which is around like 45 euros, I believe, for the extension. So yeah, just keep that in mind. In Chiang Mai, there are two immigration offices. One of them is in Central Festival, so it's a mall and that's what we are where we are going and there is another one that is located in um, in the airport but we've heard like crazy things about the one in airport guys uh, they say that it's always super super busy like friends of ours or people that we met and uh, that the organization there is not the best so we're sticking with the one in Central Festival because we've already done it once last year. So we're hoping that we get the same luck as we did last time. Because last time, basically, we got very uh, close in the line. Like we were like one of the first ones and they give you like a little number and uh, our number was really very really little so we could go through all of the things very fast i think we spent there like maybe an hour but that's quick like that's quick it's not like definitely not like doing 
stuff like this in Estonia where first of all you can do a lot of things online and second of all things is like organized and you can do your things doesn't take that much time stuff like that of course we have to like take into account that Thailand has very big population compared to Estonia so they are not really comparable I think I have to buy a new mascara this one seems seems to be running out so I think it's time so I might do that I also need to buy myself a new perfume because I came here with two full perfume bottles that I had and both of them are out so I don't know if I've been like going crazy with the perfume or what but I have run out both of my perfumes and even my little travel sized ones that I usually keep in my bag even them are out so I have no perfume which I like to have perfume I like to put it on in the morning it makes me feel good so that's also something I need to do I need to find a place where they sell like good perfumes i don't necessarily care for the brand like it doesn't need to be super fancy or anything it just needs to smell good and it needs to be like like something that lasts i don't like the ones where you need to like apply it a million times a day in order for it to last so so yeah so join us as we are going to the immigration office how hopeful are you that it's gonna be as easy this time in the immigration as it was last time? Um, how what? Hopeful are you that it's gonna be like this? How do you rate hopefulness? From 0 to 5? Yeah. 4.5. Why you're not? No. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Last time we didn't know anything. I mean, yeah. Last time we didn't have any document, we had to fill everything. Yeah, that's true. This time we're much more informed. And now it's 7.44, which means that by the time we're there is 8. We have one hour ahead. So we might not be the first one in the queue, maybe the, in the first five. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna go out there from there super late. At least we've done what we could do. Yeah, that's one of the like let's say minuses about living in thailand is the whole like visa situation because no basically no matter what visa you have you still have to go to the immigration from time to time so there is no escaping it it's just like a part of the part of the culture you know also i just noticed there are new bananas growing there i am like a banana gram literally where do you see that it's just there. Oh yeah, on the big banana. Yeah. It's not big. The leaves are. There we go. just filled in our documents so that is 
Tataristan and uh, we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. I don't think I can film inside there but uh, yeah, basically we're hoping for the best, really like hoping for the best. I think I have a boyfriend of the year, he went to get us coffees. He managed. Thank you. We got our numbers, uh, our queue numbers. So now we're just waiting for them to call our numbers. And then we basically go through document control. So they basically check if you've done all of the documents correctly. And then you go to the actual like place where they stamp your uh, passport uh, for once more. So you get you get one stamp on arrival date and one stamp stamp now that that you extend it with different dates on it. Yeah, it just extends your dates. And you have to pay. 1,900 yeah. Thai baht, which is it's around 40, 50 45, 50 euros, yeah, something like uh, this. Because yeah. uh, if you plan to come to Thailand, you should know that there, this country is a business. Like it's, yes. it's their business to make you pay for every day that you stay. Yeah. And every step of the way. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to, you have to give something back as well. And uh, honestly, like you can, you can still get sixty days without really applying for anything. So I think it's still quite a good deal. There are many, many different options, but w with every visa that you have, you still have to come to the immigration, as I said before, like from time to time. Most of them. Yeah. Not so. Them. So this is the immigration office and uh, back there where you see these little numbers, this is where you get the stamp. Okay guys, basically the update is that uh, there was something wrong with one of Arno's documents and uh, they wanted to deny him and make him come back another day. So we got our extensions, we can stay in Thailand. A little longer uh, but yeah basically uh, this thing we would have gotten out of here very very early because I think I was done by around like 10 something but yeah the little what was it like a little uh, they, spelling mistake they put a one instead of an L on the uh, Accommodation registration document. Document that you need. So my passport, when they put it in the hotel, they switched one letter. Yeah. So it was not valid. So it was around 9:45. Yeah. But, but the hotel opened at 10, 10. So I had to wait 15 minutes. Then I had to wait 10 minutes. That they finally answered me, sent me the document. Then I lost the good like. 20 positions in the line. Yeah. So I was a bit. Uh, a bit annoyed. Annoyed. But uh, there, these are the things that I cannot really control. Yeah. Or I could have like checked. But honestly, it's such. For next time. But it's such. Is it here or more down? It's uh, It's. It was such a small mistake that, like. When Arno told me at first, I thought they made a mistake like in his name or like something like this, but it was such a small mistake that I think even if we would have checked it, we wouldn't have noticed it. So, yeah. But the good thing is that it's done now and I think we don't have to do it again this time that uh, we are in Thailand. So. Yeah, but basically it took us the whole morning. Like, it's time for lunch now. And that's, it's 11. Yeah, that's where we're going. So uh, the good thing is also that they close down the immigration for one hour during the day for lunch. So I think 11.30, they close it 
and uh, you need to come back after lunch. So yeah, so I am glad that we got it done and I'm glad that even though there was a mistake on your document, they didn't tell us that oh now it's like the end and you need to come back another day. Like we could still do it. So all good, happy ending to this story. Awesome. Let's go. I have dragged Arno into the Joe Malone section. And we're doing a little shopping for a new perfume. Also, this candle, ginger biscuit, go and smell it. It smells delicious. So good. So out of all the ones I have chosen, the wood sage and sea salt, which is like a really popular one, but I also really liked this one. Wood and bergamot, this one. And also the peony uh, one I I really liked. It was really good. And the English pear with sweet pea was also really, really nice. So, yeah. Joe Malone is one of my favorite fragrance brands. It's just like, they have so many good selections and so many good perfumes. The shopping has been done. Where did we come for lunch? We came to Bunchon. With the chicken, of course. This lunch, no eggs, though. Uh, because we didn't ask, but we can still have eggs if we want. No, me, I'm okay. You're the egg lover. But yeah, basically, Bonchon is like a Korean chicken restaurant type of thing. So we've tried it once in Bangkok. We quite liked it. So we came back. We came here because we were thinking about going for lunch once again in Food for Top. But then Arno had this genius idea that we're never in Central Festival really. And it's quite a big like mall. So we decided to have lunch here for a change. So our food arrived. Chicken, gyoza, coleslaw, pickled radish. Delish. Code Red, we have a freaking pigeon in our balcony and it's not going out i think it's stuck and i'm afraid to go out there <gasps> ah! what do we do that's the problem come and look at it oh my god this pigeon is stuck? yeah oh, such a dummy no, oh, but don't let him come inside. Why would they do that? This guy is just like flying against the glass. Like, it's like going to the safari, you know. It is a little bit later on. Uh, we've just been, both of us sat on the couch, did some work. Arno had some calls. Uh, me, I edited yesterday's vlog and uploaded it. So if you haven't seen it yet, head on over uh, and give it a watch. And now I think the plan is to go and have some dinner. I think we're gonna go to Healthy Junk, but I'm not sure. We haven't decided yet. That's at least my idea of what we could have for dinner. 
but it also means that all we have eaten today is chicken which I don't know if I want that for the whole day so we'll see I will keep you posted but other than that I think we don't have any crazy plans for the evening just go and have dinner come back home maybe I want to do a face mask when I get back home I feel like doing a face mask and then get to bed like what else is there to do really maybe we'll watch a few videos with Arno if we have energy for it I am like very bad at making promises that yeah yeah let's watch videos in the evening and then I get so tired and I fall asleep so yeah I'm making plans for the weekend so I don't know if I mentioned already but Arno is going away so he is going to buy with one of his friends and so I'm gonna be alone for the whole weekend Friday Saturday Sunday I have scheduled plans with a few friends for Saturday so we're gonna go for brunch uh, and go and have facials in uh, in like a spa type of thing so I'm excited for that I've been planning that but other than this I don't know if I have any real like plans for this weekend as well so we'll see we'll see how we We'll see how we get on and we'll see what we'll what we'll do and what I come up with but I definitely want to take advantage of the fact that I am alone I can do whatever I want I can go wherever I want so yeah I think I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely enjoy that <laughs> decided otherwise and came to Acha. If you remember a few vlogs ago we had Indian, this is the place. But this time we came like outside to eat, so. For a change. For a change, yeah. So they have this little bell. Tour. No, 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 don't, don't uh, make the noise because otherwise they will come. But basically there was no wait waitress outside, like nowhere near. And we rang it and we're like, oh no, they're not gonna hear it. Like they're not gonna come. They heard it. Cause I guess they're used to it. So yeah, I've never seen like a, I've never seen like a system like this. But it's really smart, I feel like. So Why well, you don't wait for hours? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like someone is here around. Yeah. Especially since you sit outside. This first world problem, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just thought it was like a cool, uh, cool detail. We got some um, chutneys. So, green chutney, mango, imli ki chutney, mango pickle chutney, shes one, I hope I say it right, and red onions chutney. Arno loves all of these things and spice, so for him, this is like a dream. Me, not the biggest fan of so all of for these me. things. So yeah. So sad. In case you're wondering, variety of ingredients. Best for appetizers. Oh, it even gives you uh, gives you uh, like tells you which ones to use for your food and which ones to use for appetizer. Okay. No, you can leave it aside. Okay. Which one did you try so far? All of them. The, uh, and which one oh, is the best? One. Uh, they're all good. Yeah? Oh, no, I didn't try this. Are they spicy? Can I eat this? use this? Yeah, I guess. 
Are they spicy? Some of them. Which one is your favorite? I think this one so far. Okay. And this one. And this one? Yeah. Okay. We got our kebab. What was it? Rash. Rashmi. Rashmi, I think. Rashmi something kebab. It's really good. It's with the cashews or Cashew peanuts. Paste. Yeah. Cashew paste and uh, some Indian spices. It's really, really good. I was so, so hungry that I forgot to film. But we got rice, we got um, paneer, shiha, shisha, shi, shahi, shahi, paneer something. With also like cashew paste. It has a really smoky taste, paneer shisha. It's pretty good. <laughs> With also cashew paste and uh, Indian spices, we got um, mixed naan and some uh, turmeric rice. I literally have the boyfriend of the year today. Why? He brought me coffee, we went shopping, he's watching my vlog. On the I bike, mean, it's not just watching the vlog. He's actually seen it already, so it's not like he's watching it for the first time, but uh, it's for Still. the watch time. By the way, you guys that are watching the vlog, you have to watch from start, this is start, to finish. Otherwise, it doesn't work. It's not, you heard it here first. This dinner actually turned out to be a spontaneous little date night and it was really nice. Little date. Little date. Uh, we had a good conversation, good food created another memory together so it's been a good day oh. what is that a cockroach yeah it yeah so there it is a live cockroach action yeah. for you no don't push it to the to the apartment not, to toward, not towards me either <laughs> Come on, okay, stop it. Go to my list, go to my list. Stop it, stop it. Oh, it's jumping. Oh, Jesus, no, no. I'm okay. Good You're doing back feet and stuff. That's the real cockroach. Oh, actually, fun fact for you guys Arno actually like hates cockroaches. If there's no. one thing that he doesn't like tolerate really, it's cockroaches. I don't know, I feel like you don't from the last time you were living in Thailand. It's just a bad experience, but. He had a. As long as they're not in my apartment, I don't really care. He had a cockroach infestation in his apartment, which in Asia, like, you can be the cleanest person ever and do everything right, but they can still come. So. Yeah. And you yeah. become crazy because it's hard to get rid of them. Yes. I'm about to take off my makeup and Arno just went out to meet a friend. It's almost like nine uh, in the evening. Uh, but me, I am just gonna like chill, maybe watch an episode of The Big Bang Theory and then just go to bed. Uh, I am gonna do a face mask, however. This is the one that I'm gonna do. I've had it for some time. So it's this Dr. Jart. Dr. Sharp. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Sisapair. Sisapair. It's a tiger grass sleep pair intensive mask. So soothes sensitive and sensitized skin. Sounds exactly like my skin. So it's a mask that you put on in the evening and then it stays on like when you sleep and you wash it up in the morning. So I'm going to do this one throughout the night and that's about it. I think I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.